It's Tuesday, August 27th, and this is your FL1 Morning Edition presented by Candidate with Dentistry. Rochester Regional Health opened a brand new 10,000 square foot facility in Victor on Monday. The clinic, which is located in the Cobblestone Court Plaza across from Eastview Mall, offers orthopedic care, family medicine, cardiology, and x-ray services, as well as the region's only walk-in, no appointment needed orthopedic urgent care. We have photos inside the facility online now at fingerlakes1.com. Today's forecast is brought to you by GoNet Speed. Another day of hazy sun and high temperatures, but don't think it's going to stick around forever. Today's highs will be in the mid to upper 80s, but cooler temps are expected later in the week as highs fall to around 80. The National Weather Service also notes that September will likely start off unseasonably cool, with highs early next week struggling to reach 70 degrees. For the latest, check out the FingerLakes1.com Weather Center or download the FingerLakes1.com app. Here's more of the stories we're working on for you today, brought to you by Canandaigua Dentistry. For over 35 years, Dr. Jeffrey Halstead has been Canandaigua's hometown dentist. Whether it's routine dental care or cosmetic dentistry, the team at Canandaigua Dentistry is ready to serve your smile. Learn more by visiting them online at canandaiguadentistry.com. First up, a final report is expected later this year on the State Route 96, Route 14 interchange in Phelps. The intersection was subject of a public meeting last week in Ontario County and has garnered a mix of responses for months as the State Department of Transportation considers alternatives. Among the options, a full renovation of the interchange, a new roundabout, or at-grade intersection. Next, Finger Lakes Mall officials are urging community members to voice their concerns following the cancellation of Central Bus Service from the mall to the Great New York State Fair. Centro has cited a shortage of bus operators as the reason for not extending services beyond Onondaga County. Despite the mall's efforts to reinstate the service, frustrations remain high among those relying on the transportation. New Year, same problems. As students return to school, concerns are mounting over New York's mandate requiring school districts to fully transition to electric buses by 2035. While most districts still rely on diesel buses, New York State has set deadlines. No new diesel buses by 2027 and a complete phase-out by 2035. We have more on this story over at FingerLakes1.com, including an exclusive conversation on the topic that took place last year, detailing those costs. And finally, Governor Kathy Hochul provided an update Monday on the ongoing efforts of New York State's Illicit Cannabis Enforcement Task Force, or ICET, which has successfully shut down over 1,000 unlicensed cannabis stores statewide during a three-month blitz. Our region has seen several high-profile shutdowns, and state officials say those across New York have resulted in millions more in legal sales. Remember, for the latest on these stories and more, plus the latest breaking news, check out FingerLakes1.com or download the FingerLakes1.com app. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for updates throughout the day.